Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm here again with game two of my series between the 1948 Indians and the 1983, I believe it is, California Angels. Yes, 1983 Angels. And uh, hopefully I will have fewer camera issues this time. Uh, as I can see right now, it looks like everything is in the screen, so hopefully it stays that way. The lineups will remain unchanged from game one. So if you have not seen game one, I suggest you do go back and check that out. But for right now, we have game two here, and this will be in California because of course the Worst of the two teams was the 83 Angels, who only won 70 games and were 27 games worse than the Indians. And they played game one in Cleveland, so game two is going to be in California. So Thurman Tucker will lead off for the Indians. The pitchers for today's game, Bob Lemon will be on the mound for the Cleveland Indians. And Ken Porsche, who is finishing his warm-up tosses, will be the California pitcher. And Thurman Tucker steps into the box, and off we go. And he gets a 4-10, which is a fly ball to center field. The center fielder for the Angels is Fred Lynn, and he's a 2. That's undeterminable. That's a 12. It's likely an out. And it is. So there's one away. Thurman Tucker is out, and that brings up Joe Gordon, I believe Hall of Famer Joe Gordon. A lot of Hall of Famers in this game, by the way. 4-4 is a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for the Angels is DeSensei, and he is a 2. And that is a 5. 5 and 2 is also an out, so there's 2 away. Gordon gets out, and that brings up Larry Doby, and Larry Doby gets a 5-8, which is a line out to shortstop. So, no runs for the Indians on the top of the first. We go to the bottom of the first. California coming up. Juan Beniquez, the leadoff hitter, as he was in game one, 4-9, is a home run 1-3, or a fly ball. And that, he just misses that, and that's a fly ball to right field for Beniquez. One away. Bobby Gritch is up. He gets a 1-6, which is a single. So that's the first base runner of the game. And Lemon allows it on a hit to Bobby Gritch. And Rod Carew is up, and he gets a 4-8, which is... A triple one to three or a single double asterisk. That's going to be a single double asterisk. So with one out, the uh, Angels have something going here. And Lemon ha is in a little bit of a, a little bit of a tough situation here with Reggie Jackson up and one away and runners at the corners. And he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a strikeout, two away. And again... You're going to see Reggie Jackson striking out quite a bit, probably. And here we go with Fred Lynn. Two down and runners at the corners. And there's a single. 3-5 is a single and knocks in the first California run. That was a key hit. Two out, key hit. Gets an RBI. Third hit allowed by Lemon. First earned run. And Doug DeSensei up, and he gets a 2-7, which is a ground ball to the third baseman, and he is out. And that is the end of the inning, but California does strike for a run, and they have a 1-0 lead. And they are headed to the uh, top of the second. In a 1-0 game, California leading Ken Keltner up. He gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball to center field. That's one away. Lou Boudreau is up, and he gets a 1-6, triple 1-4, or a single. And 
and that is going to be a single for Boudreaux. So that's the first Indians base runner of the game. And it's Lou Boudreaux. Gets the first hit off Forsh, the first base runner off Forsh. Dale Mitchell up, 4-6. That is a pop out to first, two away. And Wally Judnick is up, and he gets a 4-6, and of course that's a pop out to first. So Judnick is retired, and so are the Indians in the second inning. We go to the bottom of the second. And I will keep checking the video to make sure that it's always showing the entire field. Brian Downing up in the bottom of the second. 4-4 four, four. is a ground ball to second base. He's out. Bobby Boone gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that is two down. And Tim Foley gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to left field. So the Angels go down quickly there. We go to the top of the third inning. Eddie Robinson up for the Indians against Ken Forsh. 6-12 is a fly ball to left. That's one away. The Indians cannot seem to get anything going here off of uh, Ken Forsh. Jim Hegan's up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a pop-out first, two away. And Thurman Tucker's up, he gets a 6-5, and that's a strikeout. So they're just not hitting the right places on Forsh's card when they're on Forsh's card. But they're not even hitting the right places on their own cards. And that takes us to the top of the third. Or wait a minute. No, that was the top of the third. That brings us to the bottom of the third. one nothing Indians. Um, and Juan Benitez up. And he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a strikeout. One away. I mean, it's not like Lemon's pitching poorly here. He had a bad first inning, but he even only allowed one run, even in that bad inning. Bobby Gritch is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a strikeout. And that's the third strikeout for Bob Lemon. And Rod Carew is up 6-6, six, six, and that's a strikeout. He strikes out the side, as a matter of fact. Four strikeouts in three innings. We go to the top of the fourth. Where the Indians are sending Hall of Famer Joe Gordon up to bat against Ken Forsh. That's a 6-9. That's a single. So their first batter of the inning is starting off on the right foot. Getting a man aboard. Larry Doby up. And that's a 1-11. That's a single. So now the Indians have something going. No outs. And runners at first and second. And Ken Keltner up at the plate. And he gets a 4-6, which is a pop-out to first. So Keltner is retired. One down, Lou Boudreaux up. He gets a 5-6, which is a pop-out to second. And now all of a sudden, that uh, Indian threat has simply evaporated. And now they have runners at first and second still, but this time with only uh, with two outs. And Dale Mitchell up, and he gets 3-7, which is a line out to second base. So they don't capitalize despite leading off with the first two guys getting aboard with no outs. And that might come back to haunt them, but we'll see. I mean, California only has a one nothing lead going into the bottom of the fourth. Reggie Jackson up. He gets a 1-9, which is a strikeout. One away. Fifth strikeout for Lemon. Against only three hits, but one of them resulted in a run. Fred Lynn up. He gets a 4-11. That's a ground ball to the pitcher. And he is a... Um, he's a 1. And that's going to be a 3, which is going to be an out. So Fred Lynn is out. Two down, and Doug DeSensei up, and that's a 6-9, which is a double 1-12. to 12. 
And that is a double. So Doug DeSensei rips a double down the line. Getting the Angels fourth hit of the game and Brian Downing coming to the plate. 6-10 is a fly ball to center. The center fielder for the Indians is, who is that? It's Tucker and he the one. So that, you're not going to get anything by him. And no run score. He, uh, Downing flies out to Tucker. And the Angels fail to score again. And we go to the top of the fifth. The Indians looking for that breakthrough, at least to tie the game. And Judnik is up. 3-5 is a walk. So the Indians get Judnik aboard on a free pass by Forsh. And Eddie Robinson up. He gets a 1-5, which is a single. So they have the first two runners on themselves now. That's the first hit of the series for Eddie Robinson, by the way. And fourth hit allowed by Forsh. Jim Hegan's up. He gets a 4-4, four, four, which is a ground ball to third. That's DeSensei, and he's a 2. And that's a 10. That's going to be bad. That's a one-base error, and now the Indians are loaded on the bases. Hegan gets aboard with an error by DeSensei. The, um, it's still somewhat early in the game. We're only in the fifth, so the Angels are going to play the infield back and hope for a double play. Thurman Tucker up, and that's a 4-10 fly ball center field. Center fielder is Fred Lynn. He's a 2. That's a 12. It's going to be an out, but it is an out 5 runner on third scores. So the Indians do tie the game on a fly out by Thurman Tucker. And it's 1-1. And Joe Gordon is up. And that's a 5-9. Which is a triple 1-4 or a double. Now this could be big. And that is a double. Knocks in at least one run. Joe Gordon hits a double. Knocks in a run. Porsche gives up a hit. Which allows at least one run. And then we go back and we check, and we see that the leadoff runner is Eddie Robinson, who's a 1-11. to So we're not going to send him. Larry Doby up, 3-6 is a strikeout, two away. And that brings up Ken Keltner, and Ken Keltner gets a 1-7, which is a walk that loads the bases back up again. And Lou Boudreau is up, and he gets a 5-4, which is a fly ball to right. So the uh, Indians are retired, but not before they get two runs to go ahead 2-1. They really kind of broke out a little bit. They could have done a lot more damage, though, and they didn't, and we'll see if that comes back to haunt them later in the game. Right now, though, Bob Boone is up. For the Angels. And he gets a 2-8, which is a single. His second hit of the series. Fifth hit allowed by Bob Lemon. Tim Foley up. He gets a 6-8, which is a single one to nine. And no, that's going to be a line out to third base. So Foley is out. One away. Juan Benitez gets a 6-4, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman is um, Ken Keltner, and he is a 2. And I believe last game I wrongly said that he was a 1. Um, and that is going to be an out double play, which is going to end the inning. I did at one point say that he was a 1 and treated him as one. I don't remember if that would have been a different result as far as out or on base. But I did make that mistake. Um, apologize for that. I try not to do that, but 
occasionally something like that will happen and you just naturally think of Keltner's being a one when you think of Keltner. So the Indians are up in the top of the sixth and leading two to one and they got a six seven which is a fly ball to center field one away. Dale Mitchell's out. That brings up Wally Judnick, and he gets a 6-8, which is a single one to 15. And that is going to be a single. So Judnick gets aboard with a base hit. Sixth hit allowed by um, Forsh. Eddie Robinson up. They get a, a 4-9, which is a fly ball left field, two away. And that brings up Jim Hegan, and Jim Hegan gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball to short, and he is retired. So the Indians get nothing in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. 2-1 Angels, very close game. Just like the game, the first game was, this one is also, and Bobby Gritch is up. He gets a 3-8, which is a strikeout to lead off the bottom of the sixth. Sixth strikeout for um, Lemon. He pitched 294 innings that year, Bob Lemon did. He was 20 and 14 with a 282 earned run average. So he's good for the entire game, as it would be Ken Forsh, assuming he doesn't get into any more trouble. He was 11 and 12 with a 406 earned run average, but pitched 226 innings. So Rod Carew, with one out, is up at the plate. He gets a 2-5, which is a walk. So, a one-out walk by Carew. And that was the first walk issued by Lemon. Reggie Jackson up. He gets a 5-7. That is a fly ball center field, two away. And Fred Lynn at the plate. He gets a 2-5, which is a fly ball to center field. So we go to the top of the seventh. Top of the seventh, 2-1 Angels. Still a close one. Thurman up is 2-9, strikeout. Thurman Tucker. One away. Joe Gordon up, 6-6. Six, six. That is a walk. So George, Joe Gordon gets aboard yet again. Third walk issued by Forsh. Larry Doby up 3-9. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Ken Keltner is up and he gets a 5-10, which is a home run 1-18. And that is going to be a home run to deep center field. And that is going to put the Indians on top. Uh, big I mean, they are on top already, but that's going to really extend the lead. And puts Ken Forsh on questionable, in questionable territory. Two-run home run. Which makes it 4-1 to one Indians. And Boudreau up, and he gets a 5-9, which is a triple 1-4 to four or a double. And that's going to be a double for Boudreau. Two down. They're trying to get Forrest through the uh, through this inning, at least. And Boudreau in the series is five for eleven, with a double, and that that would the double right there. Dale Mitchell up, and he gets a five eight, which is a line out to short. So Dale Mitchell does end it uh, for the Indians, but. The Indians strike for two more, and we have a four to one lead by the Indians going to the bottom of the seventh. Doug DeSense is up. He gets a one seven, which is a home run. Gone. Home run, Doug DeSense. So here come the Angels. That's his second home run of the series, by the way. And that puts the Angels back in this game. It's now 4-2, and Downing is up. 
and he gets a 3-8, which is a home run. The Angels go back to back off of Bob Lemon. Unbelievable. That's his first home run of the series. Seventh hit allowed by Lemon. Second home run, obviously. And now the score is back to being a one-run game. It's 4-3, and Bob, and Bob Boone is up, and he gets a 4-6, which is a walk. The Angels are just not going away. Walk by Lemon. Tim Foley up. That's a 4-6, which is another walk. Bob Lemon is just falling apart here. And that was Tim Foley. Not a guy you really want to be walking. Juan Benica is up, and he gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball double play. So that is going to be two outs, but there will be a runner 90 feet away now. Who could tie the game if we can get a base hit by Bobby Gritch. And that's a 2-7, which is a walk, at least. It keeps the inning going. Fourth walk. Uh, issued by Bob Lemon and Rod Carew up and he gets a 1-7 which is a single double asterisk and now we have a tie game all of a sudden. This is crazy. The Angels are they just refuse to go away. They're like the Terminator. Reggie Jackson up. He gets a 5-8 which is a pop out. So it finally ends with Reggie Jackson. But the Angels get three runs in the seventh, and now it's 4-4 going to the top of the eighth. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. All right, so in the top of the eighth, the Angels are going to bring in Bruce Keeson to pitch, and Wally Judnick will lead off against him. In 1983, Bruce Keeson was 11-5 with a 4.05 earned run average, and he allowed 128 hits in 127 innings. So Judnick leading off, he gets a 2-8, which is a single. So the Indians trying to mount a comeback to go back ahead. Uh, they don't want to, definitely they don't want to lose the second game and be uh, relegated to the waste bin of history in my tournament. Eddie Robinson's up. He gets a 1-6, which is a line out to first. So there's one away. Eddie Robinson continues to have a tough series. He's one for nine. Jim Hegan, who's also had a rough series, four, gets a 4-3, which is a strikeout. And he's 0 for 11 in the series. And two down, runner at first, Thurman Tucker up. He gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. So they kind of danced around on base chances in that four column with Keeson. <clears throat> but... Keeson, nevertheless, gets the uh, gets the two strikeouts and the uh, and the one uh, and the one hit allowed, and pitches a pretty good eighth inning. And now we go to the bottom of the eighth, and Fred Lynn is up for the Angels against Bob Lemon, who's still out there, and he gets a five eight, which is a pop out to first, one away. They're still showing faith in. Uh, Bob Lemon to get them through at least you would think maybe the ninth inning. Doug DeSensei is up. He gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball to the third baseman, and he's out. Just missed a home run there. And Brian Downing up. He gets a 3-5, which is a single. Brian Downing, of course, having had a home run this game already. That's the ninth hit allowed by Lemon. But again, it's nine hits over eight innings. Not that bad. And there's a single double asterisk by Boone. Boone, crazy. So now they runner, there are runners at the corners with, uh, with two outs. And Tim Foley is up. And now let's see if the Angels have anybody they can pinch hit. For Foley and more importantly someone who can go in at shortstop and not be totally embarrassing um, they do have a very bad backup shortstop and that would that would be Rob Wilfong 
they'd be less concerned about that, except they really don't have anybody that's that much better of a, of a hitter. So they're going to let Tim Foley hit, and that's a 6-5, which is a strikeout. And it's a good thing they didn't. That was on the pitcher's card anyway, and it would have just been an out as it was in the bottom of the eighth to end the eighth, and we go to the top of the ninth, and then they would have had a worse shortstop out at um, the shortstop position, which you generally don't want in a tight 4-4 game. Joe Gordon up. 6-5 is a triple 1-3 to three or a double. And that is going to be a triple. That is a triple. So now the uh, Indians have a man at third. And that is Joe Gordon. He is 5 for 11 on the, uh, in the series. Three doubles and a triple. The Angels are going to bring the infield in. Now they don't have a choice. They're going to bring the infield in, and that's a 2-9 by Doby, which is a strikeout. <clears throat> strikeout for Keeson. Ken Keltner up. Infield still in. 6-7 is a strikeout, and now the infield will go back, of course, with two down. Keeson comes back and gets the, uh, and, I mean, he's got four strikeouts. And Lou Boudreau gets a 5-3, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is considered to be a 2 since it doesn't say on the card, not one of the newer cards. And that will be an out. And Boudreau is retired. The Indians had man <coughs> at third base with no outs. They're going to regret that. I mean, maybe they won't. They might win the game. But if they lose, they're certainly going to regret that. Um, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. A run here. The Angels walk into the next round. Juan Beniquez gets a 4-5, which is a ground ball to short. The shortstop is Boudreau, and he is a 1. And that's an 8, and that is an out. So Beniquez is out. He's only 1 for 10 on the series, hitting 100. Bobby Gritch up. He gets a 110, which is a home run. And that sends the Angels into the second round. This is incredible. I can't believe this. I'm really not believing this at all. Bob Lemon has given up. He went um, 8 and a third. He got the loss. He gave up 11 hits. And four walks on two home runs. Four runs on two home runs. Or no, and now five, actually. As the Angels have pulled off an incredible two-game sweep of the Indians, the uh, win will go to Keeson, who pitched, I believe, two innings. Yes, he did. Two innings, he gets the win. He only gave up a hit and struck out four. And the Angels, incredibly, the 1983 Angels, will be the second underdog team joining the 1965 Red Sox to advance to the next round. And uh, so we have three underdog teams in the second round. The 65 Red Sox. The 83 Angels and the uh, 61, I believe, Phillies in the National League. And that completes round one as well. So now we're on to round two, which will be the best of five series. It's going to be harder for underdogs to win in the next round because it's a best of five and they're going up against the better teams that won. And another nice side note for this is that Bruce Keeson and Tim Foley were on the 79 uh, Pirates, who got eliminated by the 61 Phillies in the first round, but now they get a ride to the second round. And so that's it for me, Sportsman Z, from an incredible series where the 83 Angels have defeated the uh, 48 Indians in two straight games.